This is Rebecca from Papatry Dishwa and I'm here with a project for Tag Along Tuesday. Um, as most of you know, I've been out of town visiting parents and son and I've been literally across the whole state of North Carolina in the last week. So uh, I found this while we were um, uh, th thrifting on Saturday, I think Saturday is right. All my days are all mixed up. I'm about three weeks behind, I think. Anyway, um, we went to a, um, an Amazon store uh, or a place where they get all their um, returns from Amazon and Walmart and all that. And I found a calendar. And, uh, and as soon as I saw it, I thought, this I want this for my Tag Along Tuesday project. So... Um, that's what uh, I've made three. I made this one last night and then I made these two today. So what it is, I'll show you the calendar in just a minute, but um, it's a little trifold. has three tags in it here and then a bunch of little tags inside. Each one of them is a little bit different because of the um, images on the front uh, of the calendar. So this one has three tags. The tags are, um, well, I'll, I'll, I can better explain it when I show you the, the calendar. I just wanted to show you each one of these. Uh, and then I can show you the calendar and then we'll begin. So this one is a little longer because of the way the images were. So the calendar is this big 12 by 12 uh, calendar and it has these removable backgrounds and uh, the front of it says uh, botanical artwork by Barbara Anderson and somewhere it was a dual pocket for each month so it was like a pocket in a pocket so what I did with the this is um, January February and March so we're starting with April and I still have all of these to do which I will do over the next week or so but um, we're going to continue with April here so what um, I will be doing is uh, cutting this out uh, deciding where I want the um, score lines to be and then we'll make tags out of the background and out of the back of the paper that's left so that's the goal for today's project let me get my um, all my pieces and parts together and I'll be right back. Okay, so the very first thing that we're going to do is um, tear this from the the um, calendar. I realize part of this may not be in shock, but I'm going to remove this little uh, piece here. And I'm going to line this up very, very carefully. <laughs> um, so that I cut the back. Um, I don't know if I, I did explain it, but I don't know if I showed you. But um, each um, page has this pocket, and then with the little insert, it has two pockets. So basically what we're going to be doing is cutting this off so that we have an already made pocket um, by the way that the calendar is made. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is lining up this back to cut it even with maybe a little sliver missing. <laughs> from um, from this piece and then what I've been doing or what I did on the others each one also has a little um, piece just from the 
original and I've been cutting them out and using that as a little piece of ephemera and then I'm using the back for pockets and things like that. Now the one thing that uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it because it's <laughs> on this one it's right on that little fold line but it has the artist's um, copyright here so I will be cutting that off. Now I want to make it clear that I am not copying her uh, art. I'm using the original uh, here. So so there's no copyright infringement in using the original. If I were to run it through my copy machine and scan it, then yes, I have broken the law um, in doing that. Um, I will say that there, if you use anything like this, be sure to look at the copyright. Um, I found a very, very beautiful little booklet about three years ago that um, is vintage. It's from the 70s, I believe, or maybe really early 80s. And it's uh, just a little long book about so big, um, full of uh, English um, recipes, and each one has a really pretty um, sepia toned um, painting from you know 150 200 years ago by you know some uh, English artists and so I thought oh this will make some really good ephemera so when I got ready to use it I looked at the at the copyright and just looked at the details like I always do and one of the things it said unlike this one just says all rights reserved um, this one said not only all rights reserved but and and also a lot of things you'll see is um, that you can't use you know make copies and so on and so forth without the express recent written permission of the the artist the owner copyright holder whatever this one also said that you could not take it apart and use the individual pieces as it was. So that ruined the project completely. So I just gave it to my husband since he's from England. I said, here, look at it, keep it for nostalgia. So, so can't use that. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'll cut off the part where um, the little copyright is and then I'll use this little piece for something. So that's what we'll start with uh, next, that is, is that part, and it looks like I'm just going to cut it sort of right in the middle of this scene, because they're, they're sort of divided a little bit, and... Uh, I'm not near it yet, but I'm getting there, so I think that will be it. Yeah, it's right, starts right here. So I'll uh, deal with that shortly. Now, the next thing is I'm going to take my scoreboard and lay it in here, and I'm I've been doing them uh, with the left flap coming over this way and then the right flap coming this way. So I need this side to be a little bit longer, I need the back to be the longest, and then this side to be a little shorter. So what I'm going to do is just kind of eyeball it over and see which is the best way to do this and then I just score it accordingly. And so I think the best way is going to have that little butterfly scene. Might even come over to... That's going to be really too far. I think I'm just going to keep it there, maybe. Or there. I'm still afraid that might be too much. But I really like to have that butterfly... Or that... Um, that daffodil in it. So what I'm going to do is find my piece of paper that I had a few minutes ago. I'll be right back. Can't really do anything without paper scraps. 
So let me just do a little test here at that mark. And then this mark, or this mark. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll, I'm going to have to come back up here on this one, maybe about here. Seven and a half, that'll work. And then do this one here. And so that'll give me three and a half on that one. And then from three and a half to seven and a half is four. So that'll work. Okay, so three and a half and seven and a half it is. So seven and a half. And this can be made with any paper that you want to fold and uh, up in this way. I'm making this simply because it was already this way and I'm just creating a, um, you know, a piece of ephemera from it. Um, um, but if you wanted to make it from scratch, you could cut you a 12 by 12, um, separate it into sections score it where you wanted it uh, based on the scene in your paper and uh, just create the same little thing. Now the other thing that it's very important to do so that your um, paper is doesn't um, be bulky is cut out on this back side or what would be the inside cut out the score lines. Uh, just that little hump that the the score board made on both of those. Now this paper also has a, a coating so it will take stain like ink but not the best in the world, but it will take it. So I've been inking um, all of these as little pockets. Uh, let me just give that one just another little clip. It's um, just a little bit trying to hang on. Okay. And let's put that away and hope it don't fall down. So then just um, fold it over on your score lines. And, and there basically is, you know, the, the, what, yours, what is going to be your little booklet that holds your tags. I think what I'm calling this is a a tag trifold or trifold full of tags or something to that effect. So the next thing is a ruler, a pencil, and I'm going to then this one I trimmed a little warpy but uh, what I'm going to do now is make some notches in each one of these. So, um, so three and a half, I'm going to call it three and a half and come back at eight. So, one and a half and a quarter. No, one here. I hope that's right because my brain's not functioning very well. Um, I was telling someone on Flickr um, last night I think it was. Except for just a few odd days between, I've actually been gone from home three out of the last six weeks. And I'm ready to just be at home for a little while. So, uh, and I'm still sort of jet lagged from coming home. We came home yesterday. And it's five hours, the best we can do one, one way. So, uh, okay, let me get my, 
I had on, okay, so 2 minus a 16th, so we're going to go about there, and then, um, 2 and 3 quarters will be 1 and 5 eighths, I'm just going to kind of split that, that was, yes, 1 and 5 eighths. Oh, five eighths. Over how many sixteenths that would be? No, I'm on the wrong side of it. See what I mean? I can't do math. Uh, or fractions. Let's see. Um, half here and here. And then here. Right. I'm going to do it there. I don't think that's right, though. Oh, I need to be over to that one. Okay, close enough. Close enough. Alright, then I've got... Oh, not that one. This one. So, then I've been taking... This is a one-inch squeeze punch. I don't know what the... I think it's, it's something like a squeeze punch. Anyway, I'm just... Uh, I put me some little marks in there so I, to line up with the edge of the page and so I sort of eyeball the dot in the middle and go from there. And then it just is what it is. Okay. And this last one's a little bit harder just because it comes with it. It's already um, folded and glued at this end. Okay. Hot diggity dog. Alrighty. Now we're going to ink a little bit. So just um, give it a little bit of a ink around that thumb notch and down the sides. Um, I did do the first one without inking the sides and I didn't like how it looked so I went back and uh, inked. I stuck a piece of paper in and kind of did the best I could with it. But One good thing about having a little bit of a, a coating on this paper if, if being in a hurry like I've been doing this like all day if I put this somewhere I really don't want it to be I can just kind of rub it and it sort of clouds it out a little bit okay. and then we'll do this one And, uh, yeah, I haven't figured out how to uh, do my editing program to fast forward through bits and pieces like this um, to get through it faster. So I suppose I'm going to have to leave that up on the end of the viewer to do that if they... Um, want to fast forward through the monotonous parts like this um, because um, I've got to do some investigating into that to see how that works. Okay. And I mean, it don't take long, but it just looks so much better if it's inked, I believe, anyway. Most things look better if it's inked, even if it's, uh, I think the only thing I really don't ink that much is something that's um, obviously not vintage in the first place, or something that has a lot of white in it already. Okay, but I believe. 
believe this right here will do this little part, I think. Okay. Now, I am going to press this with the iron. And I forgot to get my ink out. Just let it run downhill for a minute. Well, not a minute, but a few seconds anyway. All right, I believe it's ready. And so we're just gonna glue this down and hope that I haven't stopped my ink up. I know that when I used it earlier today, I did leave it unplugged there for a minute or so. Okay, I'm going to have to go get a pen. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, well, there's air coming out, so that's a good sign. And then just as thin as you possibly can up and down the little pockets. Because the thinner the glue, the bigger the tag you can put in it. Okay. Now let's do this one. My neighbor's dog was barking earlier. I started the video and... I don't, it only, it really only barks if there's something going on or somebody's walking by that it's not familiar with, but it started to howl, uh, and then it wasn't long till I heard sirens, so I guess that's what it was barking at. I mean, the sirens weren't here, they were like several streets over, I think, but, okay. But still, it's like I'm not going to start a video if the dog's going to be howling at the siren going by. I remember some years ago when my kids were little, my oldest daughter Rachel had a, um, a Quaker parrot and my younger daughter had a um, cockatiel. And the Quaker's name was Kermit, and the cockatiel's name was Sammy. And we, at that time, and we're talking 25 years ago, we lived right next to the four lane, and there was always sirens going by. And we had this little dog outside. And every time the siren, siren went by, it started howling like it was dying. And then it was right outside the window from where the birds were in their cages. And then the birds would start making sounds like the dog. So we had the dog imitating the ambulance. And then the birds imitating the dog, imitating the ambulance. And it was really funny <laughs> to listen to birds howling. Yes. Okay, um, I'm going to put this uh, under the iron just to get this uh, glue set, and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so the back, or the back of this, um, I'm lining things with this um, sticky back craft paper. Um, I probably ought to be lining it with something else, but that's what it is at the moment. Okay. Actually, I want to come back up like this. So, um, let's 
actually what I want to do is cut off these little angled pieces so that I or at least that one so that I don't accidentally use it or cover it over. Okay. So getting back to the birds, um Kermit could talk. Uh, I taught him to say hello and uh, come in after hearing knocking on the wall. And little uh, Sammy, he is smart as a whip. Um, of course, he couldn't talk because cockatiels can't talk in the sense that other birds can, but he could whistle. So he would whistle, knock, knock, or no, he would whistle, oh uh, no, he would peck with his beak. That's what he did. He would peck on his little cage with his beak and then whistle, come in. <laughs> and, uh, but then I, you know, at this time, uh, Rachel was about 11 ish, 10 to 11 which would have put Jamie about 8 to 9. There's only 18 months between them. And uh, they argued all the time. Uh, all the time. You just have to know my youngest daughter. She's 32, almost 33 years old, and I tell everybody she come out screaming and she's never shut up. And that is not an exager exaggeration. I love her, but I can only take her in small doses sometimes. But anyway, so um, I got to hearing, Rachel, shut up. Rachel, shut up. And I'm like, are they got a cold? What's the matter? So I go in the room, and it's Kermit. And they're not even in there. But it's, it's Kermit who's obviously heard that enough out of Jamie that he started copying it. <laughs> so yeah, all kinds of crazy stuff happened out of them too. When they were little, little. Well, young. Not little, but young. Okay, get my mind back on what I'm supposed to be doing here. All right. So my pocket is, I'm going to call it three and a quarter, and then I'm going to drop it down to three to give room for the glue that's in there. So three inches. And one thing I did on the other three is I uh, did the little corners. I did each one of them uh, with a different corner punch on the top just to give them something just to give them a little something. Now, to keep my brain straight, I'm going to do the do these completely one at a time. Because if I don't, I will uh, get things all me messed up. I know I will. So, um, I'm going to use this one this time. And, now the one thing... Oh, I see on these big ones I'm using a number seven at the bottom on the round ones and I need to take I've got just a sliver of this craft paper in here. Just a sliver. So yeah. Rachel and Jamie, some things never change. By the time Thursday came last week, well, it's about a week and a half now, Rachel said, I'm ready to go home. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, pencil. One and a half. And my little doohickey here. I really like this little punch. I just love the whole size, except that I'm going to put that hole a little above where I marked it. Okay. Now, 
ink. Just a little bitty bit. Enough to just darken the edges a little bit and give it some definition. Yep. So I'm going to try to go see Rachel again in the spring. I had such a good time last year. Of course, I ended up spending a lot more money on her buying stuff for her, mostly for her actually, and then the grandkids. I bought her a bunch of craft stuff because she has the the, um, the eye for it and the talent for it. She just didn't have the direction. And then I think I mentioned in another video that I bought her a sewing machine like mine. And uh, so yeah, that I ended up spending like $1,500. Yeah, that was a, and that didn't even count uh, my fuel or anything, I mean, anything like that, but I'm not complaining, not one iota. Okay, um, I guess I ought to cut it first, so, um, I think I'll do this one at three and a half. Because I think three and three quarters is just going to be a little too tight. So we're going to go three and a half. Three and a half. And... Is that dry? Okay. Another thing now that I'm getting ready to put this tag in. Um, the way I did the others, I put the middle one face up like this, and then I put the other ones backward like this, because when you fold it over, then it's right side up or out, whatever. Okay, so let's do this one. Just had to catch myself up on something over here. Let me do a number seven and another seven again. There is a. Can I can get that without catching the paper? Close enough. Ink. Tell you what, I've. Um, what is today, Monday? Okay, so last week, before we left going to the, toward the coast of Fayetteville of North Carolina, when I say I've been across the state of North Carolina, I didn't go drive across the straight, the state. I drove, my husband and I that is, we drove up to the mountains and back, which is three hours one way. And then we stayed at home two nights, is that right? Tuesday night we stayed. Yes, two nights. And then went to Fayetteville, which is about an hour or so from the coast of North Carolina. And it's a five hour drive. So, um, so yeah. <laughs> but we got a lot done um, up there. Um, my son, he's actually my stepson, but I just call him my son. Um, um, we went up Thursday. Of course, he was working, so we just, we did, we thrifted on the way. Uh, we purposely go through small towns instead of going the interstate because it's a lot less stressful and, and we just, I use uh, Google and just map us out a way to go, and we hit up some fish stores along the way. Met some really nice people. Uh, only an hour and a half from home, so we'll we found us a new place to go when we want to kind of go out of town for a minute, but not too far. Anyway, um, so.
so we thrifted Thursday on the way, then we went thrifting Friday uh, uh, just around um, Matt, where Max lives. And then Saturday, he was able to get the materials to build him a little outdoor shed. He just moved into this house, been there two months as of tomorrow. And um, so he got the stuff to build a shed, so our Saturday plans changed. So I looked around to see what's around Fayetteville that I can go take a picture of. And turns out that just less than 20 miles from his house was this big huge park with all these cypress trees growing up out of the bog and all that. Oh my goodness. So um, while they were uh, building a shed, I went walkabouting with my camera. And so uh, I've almost got took 200 and something, around 220, 230 uh, pictures, and I chose 60 to start with to share on Flickr, on my, my um, Flickr account, but I've narrowed that down to about 36 or 37. Um, But I don't have them all done yet. When I get through with this video, I'll probably go finish them and hopefully get them uploaded. Um, but uh, I, I like, I don't, I don't just like, I love doing, taking, taking photos of old abandoned houses and vehicles. The rustier it is, the better I like it. Um, and of flowers and whatever I find that uh, I like the looks of. Okay, we got one more of these to do. And this pocket is just under three. I think we can get by with two and a half inches on that one. I hope so. Two and a half. I could almost get two out of that. We'll see. So, um, yeah, I, it was a half a mile walk in. The trail around the whole place was about a mile, give or take a little. And then a half a mile walk back out. And, uh, yeah, my body's kind of paid for that just a little bit today. I'm sore. I'm, I've, I haven't walked like that in a while. Uh, unfortunately, where we live here, it's just not conducive for walking one mainly is just because of the heat even though right now of course it's not that hot but after being gone so much I'm kind of ready to just you know kind of tone it down for a minute now where did that go there it is. um but then I did also get out and walk a lot when I was at my parents because they live way 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 back in the mountains in fact, on my uh, Flickr, I bought, when we were up there, um, we went up to see the neighbors at the top of the mountain. And uh, my parents own, it's, there's this big, huge mountain. My parents own all of it over here. And then the neighbors own just a little bit over here. But their part has a rock cliff that looks right down into the lake. And uh, so... Um, my dad, he set up his movie camera, and I had my camera, and we were just taking pictures, and so I did, I do have a picture of, um, it's called Wolf Creek, I grew up on Wolf Mountain, way back in the boonies of, in Jackson County in North Carolina, it's not where I was born, I don't, I don't know anything about where I was born, other than where it is on the map, really, but 
I was born in a little town called Easley, South Carolina. And my mother was born in a wide place in the road called Six Mile. Both of those are in Pickens County. And my dad and my sister were born in North Carolina. Most of my family, according to what research I've done, doing our ancestry and whatnot, from what I can see is the, my, sort of like my dad's side, for the most part, came down from like Virginia and Pennsylvania and all that. I mean, we're talking 150-ish years ago. And then my mom's side, or the names on that side, come over from South Carolina, and they met in the middle, and they've never left. <laughs> some of them I've never left. Okay, let's see if this is going to fit in here. It's a little tight. I didn't cut that straight, which is probably the reason I ordered that. Oh, here it is. So, let's see if I can just loosen that up just a little bit without popping through. Oh, I did pop through a little bit there. Let's see. Stick just a little dot of glue on there where I messed up, pulled too hard, or pushed too hard, whichever the case may be. Now let me hit it with the iron so I can seal it. Okay. Now let's see if I can do it do it without pushing it through again. I believe that's going to work. Yes. Okay, so we can do it that way and that way. So that's basically the little trifold done as far as that goes. This back is a little crooked. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, so what I'm going to work on now is I'm going to just cut this part out here like this and set that aside and I'll put some craft paper on the back of it, but I'll wait till the end to do that. So what I'm going to do here is get me another sheet of craft paper. And knock my little lamp out of the way, it looks like. So, well, I guess I'll just do that just like it is. I'm going to cut just over an inch. We'll do an inch and a half. Here. Well, if I quit moving it, okay. Now, let's see if I can do this straight. Because the last two, I think, I did where I did a little piece like this turned out. As the mountain people say, as crooked as a dog's hind leg. I don't know if it was actually that crooked, but it definitely was not straight. So, let's... Okay, it's trying to, it's, see, I, see, I don't understand that, I mean, you put it on straight, I know that's slightly off, but it shouldn't be that much off, but, whatever, 
whatever, whatever. We'll trim it up and it'll be just fine. This is going to be pockets for the inside. When I made the first one, it was like it looks naked without anything in the middle. I don't know if you can see where I was indicating. I realize I'm just all over the place, but this part right here, it's like you need to have something. So I thought I would make little bitty pockets. So, so my camera decided to run out of battery at the most inopportune time. So I had to wait on another one to charge up. But I am back and uh, ready to finish this thing. So what I'm doing now is making a little one inch deep pocket for these three little pieces here. And I realize that this video is already like 40 something minutes long. So when I'm doing, I mean, I'm talking obviously, so I don't know if you want to listen to anything I have to say other than watching this, but uh, you can definitely fast forward through um, a lot of it. Now, what did I do with my pencil? I keep covering up my tools with a piece of paper. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's do it another way. How about it? And let's turn this over. Or I'm really just going to mess myself up big time. And I went ahead and edited what I had so far, and I realized two or three different times I like put my head way over into the shot, so you can see my uh, my uncombed hair in the shot but I am not taking it out uh sorry just not doing it okay if I do this smart I might could actually do them all three at the same time now wouldn't that be a miracle be something, wouldn't it? Okay, let's see what I've got here. You know, I got this way off up here where I can barely see it, but we'll give it a whirl and see what we've got. That's garbage. Hopefully I didn't mess that up too bad. Okay. Now, let me rub that little bitty piece off in ink and hope I have a little bit left. And so I have no idea what I was, what I might have been talking about when my camera decided to just cut off. It's, um, this camera's probably nine, ten years old. And it's, uh, the, oh shoot, I left my glue undone. Um, if it comes out, it'll be a miracle. Um, and the batteries, um, I've got four batteries for it. Oh, I don't believe that. Did you see that? There was glue come out of that. I don't believe it. Anyway, I've got four batteries for it, and they're all practically dead. And two of them I ordered from Amazon. But they're just no good. Just no good, no good, no good. Anyway. Um, well, the other thing I've been doing too on this little is I've been putting the little pockets up right on top of this little 
I know I'll cut that, but I'm going to have glue on my scissors, but I cut it just a tad too long. Okay, let's try that again. Um, anyway, what I was saying is I've got it sitting right on top of this little um, print. I think it, make it makes it look a little cuter. Maybe. Oh, oh I've got the wrong one. So I, I know I measured that thing. Okay. So as I was saying, I have no idea what I was saying. <laughs> it's been, oh my goodness, it's been like an hour. Uh, yeah, and usually my husband's already gone to bed and he's, I don't know, for some reason it makes me uh, self-conscious. I don't know why in the world it would make me self-conscious. My goodness, I sleep with the man. I don't know what I'd be self-conscious about, but for some reason it does make me self-conscious though to do a video while he's awake. Can anybody explain that to me? <laughs> oh, Lordy day. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So, hopefully tomorrow, if all goes well, and I know tomorrow's Halloween, I don't celebrate Halloween, I don't celebrate any of the pagan holidays, and uh, so hopefully that doesn't offend anyone, but I don't, so there it is. Um, but, um, I've got some announcements and um, some things that I want to share um, I want to do another giveaway uh, and I want it to be an ongoing thing but I realize that with all the holidays that are coming up between now and the end of the year that um, it might not be people's focus, so um, one day this week I will definitely get that announcement um, made and put out there. And then um, I've got a beside, behind the scene, excuse me, a behind the scenes video that I promised like two-ish weeks ago, if not more and um, didn't do yet so but I have all my I mean it's just sitting there waiting what I want to show you what I've been doing and uh, so yeah that's two videos I want to do this week besides the projects for later in the week Okay. Alright. So there's the little pockets. And I'm going to hit. Oh. So, so that's why I hit it with the iron. Because if I move it, it's ruined. Let's push that down. Oh. Alright, I'm hit it with the iron. Okay. Man. I don't usually cut that paper with scissors, but... Oh, 
oil this time so I can get on with the program. small enough surely I can hit it okay. and then we're just gonna hopefully find a straight spot that one right there actually no I don't that's not straight at all Alright, um, I thought I got my little bitty trimmer out over here, but oh, I laid the calendar on top of it and couldn't see it. Oh. I'm going to pretend that that is straight. pretty straight and then we'll do this one I guess I really would like to cut the Tuesday off but I know that if I do then it'll cut off the top of the or be really close to that um, wing but I am gonna get rid of Wednesday over here and get rid of the four and the five. If I'd have done these the first time I probably could have made it straight if assuming that the one was straight but I believe it'll be alright. I guess I could add just a, or take off just a tiny piece. No. That's cutting it close, literally. don't like doing the the cuts really close like that because sometimes this little blade will just dig in and not do what it's supposed to. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do that's not gonna work. This is I'm just gonna hit this with this little number four just barely round the corners on it. And give it a little ink. didn't really cut that line completely off, but I'm not going to go back and redo it now. It can just be part of the design. But basically this is just a little bitty journaling card. And that can go in maybe sort of like that. Now. me clean this little spot up real quick. And let's put that back through there. There I did hit my light again. Alright, 
Let me grab my little punch that I forgot to bring over here. this. Right. Now, now these I'm not putting holes in. They're just so little I'm not going to do that. But I am going to put a little ink just to uh, give them a little definition. I think I've said that three or four times now during this video. And something I realized that when I got this uh, punch out a few days ago to use it, um, I didn't realize that it has a eyelet press right here to put eyelets on. I'd forgotten about that. And I think I need to refresh my ink. Just a itty bitty bit. Just a drop or two. Yep. I really, really like making this ink out of coffee. Um, I've not bought any ink since I started doing this. Um, and I know there's all kinds of different colors and all such as that out there, but to me the the coffee is just as good a brown as any other name brand stuff out there. Now that one it needs to dry a little. It's a little bit soupy. And things are a lot more enjoyable when you make them yourself anyway. Which is part of my behind the scenes thing that I'll be showing later in the week. Okay. I think I'm gonna put just a little bit more on this one. Okay. Just darken up those little bits just a little bit. to have the little thing in the middle. Okay, let's make another set of these. I really like to have more of that green more than I would the blue, so I think I'm going to remember which way to turn this thing. I'm just going to cut enough to make sure that I can get those um, little tags on this. Well, I bet you wish I quit making this thing fly around all over the place. I guess I'll do it on this end since uh, I've got that on there. And I've already got a bunch of stuff here on this workstation so I'll not 
pad anymore to it. Okay. where we are now. I had a, uh, several other um, punches for small tags. Um, but I gave them to Rachel. Um, had f four. I think the biggest one was like two and a half inches wide. Um, and then it was, I had like two and a half and then two. And one and a half and one maybe. Anyway, they were all exactly the same, just different sizes. I sent those to her back in, uh, the end of May toward the 1st of June and then I had several other punches that I sent to her that sometimes my memory thinks I still have them and I'll go looking for them like oh yeah I sent that to Rachel I don't have that anymore but I kept this one uh, and then when I put in this white cabinet uh, I don't know, back in July maybe it was. It's got 27 drawers in it. I'll, if I can remember, I will link the video at the end. Um, got it from Jamie. She volunteers at a thrift store uh, in the community she lives in. And uh, it's, it's old, it's metal, it's been painted white but a lot of it's uh, just kind of gotten rusty so it dried up my alley. <laughs> she put it in the basement to just help organize some, the little stuff in the basement and her, her husband Jesse he didn't like it at all. Anyway she said they just charged me ten dollars for it. I said I'll give you twenty. And she said but I only paid ten. I said it's worth twenty to me. I said actually it's worth more than that but that's a the only bill I have on me right now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to dry these real quick with the iron. Oh, I didn't realize I had four of these. Well, there we go. And then, there we go. All right, now, um, scissors. Okay, that's already got them. Let's make these about this long here. That should be enough. And make three of them for these little tags. So I just do a, a little simple one knot uh, bow, one little knot, knot thing. Um, I don't know if this green is the problem, whether it's the best color or not, but it'll, we'll find out when we turn it over. So I'm going to turn that that way. 
See, it's a nice spring green, and that's what this is supposed to represent, so I'm not going to change it. Just a little bit of bulk, that's all. Nothing major. No. Let's put that in like so. So this project is, um, I, th I think it's kind of like a twofold thing. It's good if you're a beginner and you um, are looking to be uh, or to find something to help you get started. So it's you know the design's already there, so it, so you're kind of ahead of the game just a little bit. Um, it's also good if you're looking for inspiration. You know, if you've got a little bit of creator's block, it uh, kind of helps with that a little bit, I, I think. Um, or if you just want to do a quick project. Um, now, like, I found a calendar and I made it work, but um, you might use, like I said earlier, you might just use scrapbook paper or... Um, a gift bag, anything like that. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. See if I can get it, this tied into a, a cute little knot, or not not knot, but a bow. And when I say cute, I mean <coughs> functional. <laughs> Lace might be a little bit too wide, and it's not quite the right color for green, but <clears throat> it uh, it'll pass for now. It was the closest thing I had. I did had some really dark green, but I just didn't think that would look right. <clears throat> but it goes good with the green up in here. All right, so. Let me just move some of this out of the way because I've got a mess going on over here. So it's not really a mess, it's just a whole lot of tools that's just kind of been flung from here to there. You know what, I forgot to put that little doohickey on. <clears throat> I'll make a little tag out of it and I'll stick it in after a while or tomorrow or whenever. Okay. But yeah, I did forget about that. Okay. Now. So we got January. <clears throat> and I realized too when I... Um, showed you these at the beginning of the video that I forgot to actually turn them over and show you the back side so I'm going to do that now so that because we I showed you this part but I didn't show you that part so that's January that was at the bottom of the January and then this one is February that one's really pretty And this was March. Well, if I can get it undone. And so that one's a little bigger, but it's because of where so I had this little sun post with the birds on it. So 
it was if I came way over here it would have made the front way too long so I decided to have a little short front and then two kind of wider ones <clears throat> I've got a tickle in my throat it's um it unfortunately is allergy season and I have major major allergies and so sometimes life can just be difficult <laughs> okay and there's the one we just made with April so um yeah after I turn the camera off I'll make this little tag and I'll stick it in right here maybe in fact I'll put that one over there <clears throat> and I'll put that one there I'll make it a little smaller all right well that has been a how about a triple tag trifold We got three tags, a whole bunch of little ones, but I'm not really counting them per se, and a trifold. <clears throat> yeah, I'll be doing the rest of these between um, let me see. I'll go ahead and show you <clears throat> the rest. So this is May, June. July, August, and it's also the cover, September, October, November, and December. So, yeah, um, between projects and on days when I'm not doing projects or weekends or whatever, when I'm doing just doing some crafts I make make more of the things that I really like and so I'm going to finish these out I'd like to do that if not this week definitely on the weekend all right so <clears throat> thank you all very much for watching and I will see you in another video very soon